What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the ranch show. Today is another prediction video, but it's going to be something a little bit different. Again, kind of steering out the direction with the wrestling videos. Me and fellow Bros Vlogs member here, Tony Steven, known as The Limited Tom. Tony, welcome to the channel. Thank you for having me. It's nice to be on uh, the ranch show now. Big news <laughs> coming up. <laughs> well, Glad you're here, and today me and Tony, or Limited Tom, will be going through the complete card and make our predictions for the KSI vs. Swarms boxing event happening this weekend on The Zone and from Misfits Boxing. So, we're not going to waste any more time, we're going to start off with... Alright, so in this video we're going to go by the matches in order, so the first match of the night to the last match of the night, if that makes sense for y'all. So we're going to start with... It says here, according to this, on the website, that the first match of the night would be KSI versus Swarms. Six rounds on the Cruiserweight division. Tony, what do you, you think is going to happen in that first round? First, we need to start off with KSI, the main eventer. The whole reason everyone's watching this, starting off the card, get everyone hyped up for other fights, is obviously a big move from the zone and KSI himself. And he's fighting Swarms. Um, a well-known boxer in the world swarms. <laughs> um, the, the fight's going to be interesting. Probably short. I'd say KSI toys him just to get the crowd hype in the first round. and second round, he'll knock him out. Second round knockout from KSI. Yes. I don't I think mean... he wants to do it too early because, you know, he wants to give the fans a bit of enjoyment. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um... I don't know because, like, again, he's fighting two fights tonight. Like, for me, if that was me fighting two fights tonight, I'd try to get the first fight out of the way quick as possible, as you said. Like, not really aim for just, like, showing the audience. He could show that later on in the second fight. But, like, you know, he has to save that energy and make sure he doesn't get hurt that much. Obviously, I don't think Swarm is going to do anything to him. No offense. Yeah. But, I again, I'm going to agree. I'd say KSI will win by... I'm going to go with TKO. TKO. I'm going to go by TKO. He's going to get rocked or he's going to get stuck in the corner and the referee's going to stop it. Yeah. That's, I, don't, I don't see a knockout coming in the Swarms fight, but I'm going to say KSI TKO in the second round as well. Well, you never know. We, we, could, we could be wrong. Imagine if KSI lost both those fights in that night. Then... I would order a lot of people a lot of money. Yeah, true. <laughs> Alright, so that's both of us, KSI, to win that match, both in the second round. You would knock out me with TKO. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to move on to the next match. Sam Hyde versus I Am Thompson. Sorry if I screwed up his name there. Four rounds in the Cruiserweight division. Tony, what do you think is going to happen in that fight? This is a big fight on the card. Everyone's Anticipated for this fight. <laughs> I'd, I'd have to say, um, from what I've seen on quick research on who these people are, I'd have to go with I am Thompson just because uh, I believe in his name. Um, I'd say this goes for full four rounds and goes to decision. Yo, I'm going to say something opposite here. I think Sam Hyde's going to win. I think Sam Hyde by knockout in round three. <laughs> knockout? He's going to knock out Ian Thompson in round three. Okay. I'm just throwing it out there just to spice things up. <laughs> <laughs> again, could be wrong. Nothing wrong with both those fighters. But I'm going to go with Sam Hyde to turn around KO. And now the next match on the card. Salt Pappy, who's been kind of a popular name in recent time. Versus Andy Worski, four rounds in the cruiserweight division. Tony, talk to me. <laughs> Salt Pappy. Everyone remember the name. Your grandkids will be talking about him. The Salt Pappy. The descendant of Salt Bay. This is a phenomenal <laughs> TikToker. The way he salts his chicken. I'm going to think he's going to salt up Andy. Next level, I'm going to say second round TKO. Second round TKO for Saul Pappy. Yeah. You know what? I'm I'm actually a fan of Saul Pappy. I 
I enjoyed watching him when he fought Halal Ham on the Deji and Wasabi undercard. I think also he's hilarious on TikTok and the sentient of Salt Bay. <laughs> what? Let's not forget the fact that Salt Poppy has lost a ridiculous amount of weight for this fight as well. Yeah, he. I'll show on screen his transformation. The amount of weight he lost for this fight and just in boxing in general has been amazing to see. Fair play to him for that. So it'll be a lot faster than the first fight as well. So I'm expecting a very enjoyable fight here. I'm going to go with... I'm gonna, I think I do enjoy him, but I'm, I'm just going to go with this feeling because I can imagine so happy. Like, he's going to want to, like, box. He's going to want to have fun in there. I'm going to see this as a split decision win for Saul Papi. It's going to go to four, a whole four rounds. Makes sense, makes sense. All right, so next match. Dean the Grey versus Evil Hero. Four rounds also in the welterweight division this time. Interesting. Some great names in this card. Dean the Great versus Evil Hero. Yep. Um, I wouldn't know a lot about these guys. Just from the name, I'm going to go based off names again. Evil Hero. I'm going to say just because he's evil. First round, first round decapitation. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus, you're trying to be Logan Paul? <laughs> My God. First round decapitation for evil hero. <laughs> I mean, sure. <laughs> First round decapitation. Are we actually? Gonna, are you actually predicting Dean DeGray will get rocked in the first round? That's it. With this, because I don't know who these fighters are. But Dean DeGray, Dean DeGray would obviously he has shown that he has some skill. But I'm gonna have to go against all odds because Evil Hero, his name is too menacingly that Dean won't know what he stepped into. You know, I can't complain. Fair enough. I'm gonna. I'm also gonna. Actually, no. <laughs> I'll go with. <laughs> actually, I'll go with Dean DeGray for this one. Dean DeGray, second round knockout. Yeah. Second round KO by Dean DeGray. He's doubting evil hero. Of course, he's not that evil. Thanos looks up <laughs> the evil hero. Just remember that. <laughs> and now we move on to a big. Big fight, one of the biggest fights on the card. King Kenny of Beta Squad, 0 and 1, unfortunately, <laughs> goes against Baze Sensei. Four rounds in the cruiserweight division. Tony, why is King Kenny keep fighting the phase members? <laughs> he wants to take them all on. And <laughs> so far, it's not going good. It's going to no. be all oh, I'm saying this. Phase Sensei, uh, just because King Kenny showed some much heart, I'm going to say this goes to decision. Split decision, face sensei. Split Actually, decision, Joel. Unanimous decision, face sensei. Well, uh, anonymous decision. Yeah. For sensei to be Kenny. Yeah. You know what? If Kenny loses this fight and he wants to fight another face member, I see he should call out face rogue. <laughs> Face Rogue should be next. <laughs> if he going, if he's trying to take down each face member, which so far, yeah, as you said, is not going too well. This is based off um, Face Sensei's um, fighting experience. I know it hasn't fought in a bit, but just the fighting experience is what I'd say. Because King Kenny, when he started training boxing about a year, two years ago, I just don't think he'd be able to take a guy with so much in-ring experience in so many different combat sports. But to be fair, yeah, he has that experience, but uh, Face Sensei hasn't boxed or had a fight in quite some time compared to Kenny. Yeah. So Kenny is kind of a bit more uh, fresh. Useful. He's a bit more fresh, where Sensei would be necessarily rusty on the night. You know, you never know what happens. Like me personally, I'm gonna go with King Kenny in this round. Uh, this one. Yeah. I think King Ken- King Kenny, sorry, <laughs> King Kenny, will win by third round TKO. Third round TKO. I feel like Sensei is, is going to get tired in the third round, and uh, Kenny's going to have him there, and referee again will pull it, pull them apart and stop it. But if, if it, it doesn't again, for valid points, it's very valid. Yeah. <laughs> now we move on to another big fat fight. This is 
they won. I oh, know it's the second of the light heavyweight division. We're going to see Mr. Tube Fousey. Mr. Guy in the elevator wearing Mortal Kombat outfits scaring people. <laughs> then we also got Deji Alatunji, the man who takes no L's. Four rounds in the light heavyweight division. Tony, give me your thoughts on this fight. This is, for me, the I'm looking most forward to and more anticipated for it in the case I fights purely for my love for Deji. Um, another L here would be have to be the end of his boxing career. What do you think? I don't know. I think he should go for that 0-5. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 0-5 would be the perfect to stop. <laughs> yeah, Deji has to win here. He I has think to win, of course. <laughs> just for how much pressure and how much people are hoping for Deji to win and how much he'd want to win after so many losses, I just can't see Fuzzy Tube winning this. People are so saying Fuzzy Tube is in great shape. All this is dedication, just to get in shape. Surely he's putting that same amount of dedication into the training for this fight. But I just don't see Deji winning this. I'm going to say Deji's going to probably come in faster than all his fights. And I'm going to say second round TKO for Deji. Deji to win by TKO in the second round. Yeah. This might be a bold comparison. Trust me, I'm not comparing them in uh, any way of like fighting or in the boxing ring. I'm comparing it simply on the fact, like, if we compare KSI to Logan Paul, obviously, if you see Logan Paul, he's in great, he has a great physique, so, like, big, muscly dude, where with KSI, he's a bit, like, a little bit chunky. Yeah. <laughs> like, it just, that just proves, because KSI held Logan to a draw in the first one, then beat him in the second one, and KSI said it multiple times on record that, like, he doesn't believe muscles or physique doesn't win you a boxing match as long as you can box that will obviously win you the boxing fight but yeah. I don't I don't believe obviously fair play to uh, uh, Fousey for getting in such great shape by the way like his also I'll show on screen as well his transformation as well as Soul Pappy's in the yeah. last couple of months and also he's been a few months sober which again fair play to him for that but I don't like physique it's not like is it obviously very much needed in boxing or if you're going to get into the boxing ring or MMA but like I don't know, seeing these last kind of couple of fights, I don't believe like the physique is the main thing in the ring. It's kind of down to their fighting style, which, again, even though he has lost, Deji's been in the ring more times than Fousey, and he's probably went last. He lasted longer than Fousey. He's done more than Fousey. He's thrown more than Fousey. He's done just way more than Fousey, and Fousey's way more rusty than Deji. So there's this, there's so many reasons why Deji should not lose this fight. Where you never know, because again, Deji... Like, we all believe in Deji, but at the end of the day, when he fought with Zabi and uh, uh, what's his name, Finny Hacker, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like we we didn't really know much of these guys or know how they box, and yet Deji gassed out in the Finny Hacker match and he lost by points because he didn't throw against Wasabi. You don't know with this, like if Deji's like changed much, or again, we'll see on the night, but just because I'm a fan of him, because I, I don't really believe in him that much because of just his last performance, but I hope to God and praying to God that Deji. Deji wins this fight. Yeah. But Deji to win, I pr- I'm praying now. I'm not holding like, like I'm not putting all my, uh, what's that saying? I, I brought, in I'm not, yeah, I'm not putting all my eggs in a basket. <laughs> but I am I really want Deji to win, so I think Deji will win by split decision. Deji? Deji to win by split decision on Fousey. Sorry if I wa- sorry if I waffled on there too long. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Good point. Next fight on the night. This is also a big one in my opinion. We have Faze Temper one and O, who is actually one of the most experienced fighters on this card, versus Slim. Four rounds in the light heavyweight division. Slim also in multiple wins, multiple fights as well. Both both of them coming fresh off recent boxing matches. Tony, what's happening in this fight? This. This is a big fight for it. Slim has fought, I don't know how many fights. I know Slim has fought quite a bit since yeah. he started. He's been finding a lot of people, a lot of influencers. And Face, Tem- Face Temper had his first fight that he won after, went, after he lost and then they changed to win. Well, yeah. Temper has shown proper skill in that fight. I've never 
watch that slim fight. I've seen clips. He's obviously good for the amount of fights he's had. Temper just for size and the way Temper fights compared to Slim's aggressiveness, I'd have to go with face Temper for this fight. I don't think there'd be any knockout. I'd say this goes split decision, face Temper. That's fair enough. But, and if you didn't know, Slim's is coming off his recent fight, which was a knockout win in his last fight. He knocked out his opponent. And face Temper's coming off a split decision. Obviously, he won by the appeal. Obviously, if you watch that ma- match, we all knew the Temper won. Somehow, for some reason, they just scored it as uh, Kenny won. Yeah, yeah that, the whole boxing event was kind of a mess anyways. But, <laughs> but Slim, he uh, is also as well, Slim is known for making Fuji look like a punching bag, if you remember that. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, Fuji just standing there doing nothing. But Slim, I'm not doubting Slim. Slim can box, Slim can fight. And Slim kind of showed that in his last couple of fights. I know that kind of sounded like a rhyme there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not down with Slim again, just like the Deji fight. I'm not putting all my eggs in the basket, but I also feel like this is going to be a... You know what? I'm a, I'm a call for it. I don't know. I think this is going to be a split decision draw. Split decision draw? Or Sorry, <laughs> not a split decision. It's going to be a, um, a draw. I think it's going to be a draw. Like, I can't see either of these, like, getting the win over each other. I feel like it's going to be insanely close, insanely entertaining fight. One of the most entertaining fights on the card. I just, I think it's too close to call it. It's like, hey, Temper's going to win or Slim's going to win. I think it's too close to call it. I think it's going to be a draw. Okay, okay. Is it all I'm going to say for this match that I can't predict that it's going to be one hell of a boxing match? True. Now we move on to the main event. Sorry if I butchered this guy's name. I apologize in advance. We have KSI versus Luis Alcaraz Pineda. Six rounds cruiserweight. Again, sorry if I butchered his name. Six rounds in the cruiserweight division. This is KSI's second fight of the night. Fair play to him for doing this. What do you think? Tony? What's going to happen in this fight? The main event. This is... Obviously, KSI changed his opponent. It was going to be a different guy before Luis Pineda. Um, the guys had seven pro fights, I believe. One, two, and then lost the other five. Um, KSI is much bigger than this guy. Yeah. Height, weight. Um, he just... I've seen a few clips of Luis Pineda. KSI just seems way more powerful. Um, you know, pro boxer, not the best, is a pro boxer, so KSI has took that step up. The guy is a pro boxer, he's obviously been fighting for a long time. So he, I just can't see him being KSI. I'm going to say KSI, as this is the last fight, second fight for him, I think he'd want to show more of his boxing than he would against Worms. Obviously, against Worms, he wanted. want to conserve some stamina and energy like you said so I think in this fight he want to show more why he's saying he's better than Jake Paul why he's saying he can go pro why, he's been, why he can fight and beat Dylan Danis and all these other guys so I believe this fight go a bit longer I'd say third round TKO for KSI third round TKO for KSI yeah you know as you said you took it away there <laughs> I took the words out of my mouth again this is the final night, the final fight of the night, KSI second event, obviously, or second fight, I mean, obviously, he's still preserved, preserved his energy, and hopefully, he's not too battered from uh, swarms, which I don't think he will be. But again, pro boxer, both he is, he does have wins compared to the last guy he was gonna fight, and you know, I I seen him earlier. If you, I'm not sure if you watched the the open workout uh, for the event today, I seen. Uh, Sorry, I keep forgetting his name, Lewis, Lewis Pineda. I seen him on the pads. I'm not gonna lie to you, like I'm not like no boxing expert or anything, but I don't think you have to be in this scenario. Lewis looks like very like stiff and very slow, in my opinion, on the pads. Anyways, usually when it comes to, like anybody on the pads, the pads always make you look good or fantastic. Where with Lewis, he just looked very stiff and very slow on the pads, which for a pro boxer, like that's not what you what you want to hear or see. 
again, you don't have to take it from me. You can watch it if you want. The open workout, is, I'm pretty sure, is still live right now or up as, as of time of recording. Yeah. But watch it in your free time. But in my opinion, I think he's just too stiff and too slow. I don't see this match going. It maybe it will go the distance. Depends how weary or tired KSI is. But I again, I feel like KSI is going to win this match, and I'm going to go with, as you said, I'm going to, I'm a stealer. Why not? First round decapitation. <laughs> <laughs> First round KO for KSI against Lewis. That's just my guess, or Louis. Sorry if I keep forgetting his name or uh, mixing up his name, viewers. But yeah, that's me and Tony here. That's me and Tony's uh, uh, predictions for the Misfits, the Zone, KSI for the Swarmers Boxing event. And if you guys agree or disagree with any of our predictions, please let us know in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, also leave a like. But before we end this video, let me just shoot this question real quick at Tony Stevens. Tony, if KSI somehow, if he does win back to back fights this fight, who should he call out or fight next? That's a tough one because for most people, you think he goes straight to Jake Paul fight. I believe KSI would want one more before the, K before the Jake Paul fight, which from what we've heard and seen so far from Twitter and all their arguments, everything, it looks like it's set for the end of 2023 so i he's shown he's shown a few people he wanted to fight i'd say from all the people he has said i say dylan danis would yeah. be the oh it'd be for me really the most interesting than all the other people on it and a pro fighter obviously not through the boxing route but is a pro fighter young still at the fight and stuff so better than fighting like ben Askren and them so, I'd like to see KSI versus Dylan Danis. Now, just to go on that, yes, it's, it's like words anyway, it's not like officially announced by anybody, but they have agreed verbally on Twitter, of course. <laughs> Twitter is very reliable. Yeah. But K KSI and Jake Paul both said they would fight next year at Wembley Stadium in London. But, just to go back to what you said there, you would like to see him fight next. So, obviously not jump straight up into the Jake Paul fight and fight one more fight. I agree with that. I think you should fight one more person before stepping up to Jake Paul. Depends as well how well he does in this card. Like if he ends up like knocking out Swarms and Lewis in the first round of each, then he should fight one more because he didn't really show much or went like that long enough in the fight. But I I feel like yeah, he should fight one more, but I don't think it'll be against Dylan Danis because Dylan Dan is is all talk. He won't fight anybody. Yeah. Like I, I think he's on the McGregor's team, Conor McGregor's team, in sparring, or he's something like, he works with McGregor. Sorry if I get that wrong. But if Dylan Dallas is going to fight, I don't think it'd be against KSI as much as he talks about him, but I think that's just for show. I think that's just, you know, trying to make his name relevant. But if, I, I feel like Dylan Dallas, he's just going to fight. If he is going to fight, it'll be against Logan Paul. I'm pretty sure Logan Paul is training this year for a fight, and I believe that will be against Dylan Dallas. That's my prediction for that anyways, but KSI I should fight one more before he fights Jake, and the person he should fight, because it makes sense, I think he should fight Austin McBroom. Austin McBroom? That depends, though. If Gibb ends up knocking out Austin McBroom, then no, he should not fight him. And also, KSI said, again, on Twitter, because it's reliable, that he would spar Bryce Hall on camera. But if that wasn't going to happen, I would have said he should have fought Bryce, but I guess not. But if, depends how the Gibb and Austin fight goes. I think KSI should fight McBroom. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, if we we all seen what happened with McBroom and Bryce. McBroom can box and McGroom, McBroom uh, has good footwork. And I feel like he'd be a good challenge for KSI. Not saying he's going to win, no offense. But he'd be like what KSI needs as an next opponent. Yeah. But yeah, if you guys... Also, one more question. <laughs> Sorry if I... <laughs> Drilling on this video, guys. One more question for Tony Stevens. When are you returning back to YouTube?
back to YouTube. <laughs> What's uh, happening? Let's get some spoilers or news on the Rancho first tier. <laughs> Top tier tea spilling right now. Yep. <laughs> I'm planning. And when I say I'm planning, actually proper planning on a return, let's say summer of next year. Summer 2023. Tony Stevens returns to YouTube. Yeah. Is that official? Official? No. What is official <laughs> is my second channel. If anyone you know who I am, the limited Tom. Um, top beats that will be returning by the set. And I'd just like to quickly plug Bro's Vlogs movie coming yep. out November 1st. Bro's Vlogs movie, th- November 1st. <laughs> Be prepared. Also, shouting out to the Top Beats channel, his second channel. I'll leave that in the description below. And make sure you guys also check out Bros Logs. Subscribe to Bros Logs. Support Bros Logs because it's it's Bros Logs. <laughs> 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 My God, we need to change that intro. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you, Tony, for coming on to the ranch show. You're more than welcome to come back anytime. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And we'll talk to y'all later. Do you remember-